Darren Smith here with DWS Classics Huntington Beach. Today we're at the Seal Beach Car Show downtown Seal Beach and here I've got a real cool guy that I've known for a little bit. He's in the local car club in Huntington Beach also. Neville Ohm. How you doing today, Darren? Ohms, Ohms? Ohms. Ohms. Like people say Ohms. Ohms. Yeah, Ohms Law. Yes. That's a lot of times I know people Ohms say Law. That. Forgive me. So, uh, how are you liking the show? This is one of the best shows around. I don't know if it's a kickoff for the season, but Seal Beach is, just brings out the best of everybody. The, the collection of cars, the difference, the, the different kinds of cars that are in is just absolutely so fun. So, tell us about your 69 Camaro here. It's a beautiful ride. I'm sure you're very proud it's of it, right. aren't you? you know, yeah, it's okay. Beer. It's okay, but uh, <laughs> so this car is one of three cars we built for Pioneer Electronics. It's a stage three car, which is a pro touring level vehicle. This vehicle was prepared in 2011 for CES, and basically we put in all the Pioneer components, and then Hot Rod TV came in, they did a show on it, yeah. and then GM Performance came in, Classic Industries, high performance, and so it's all outfitted with the latest uh, CTS the uh, crate motor for Geo Performance. It's got this uh, Stage 3 sound system for Pioneer, and then it's been all prepped and painted by 5-axis uh, design that I used to work for. Yeah. So this car is just, uh, just a bit of what I do for a living. And so I've added a lot of special details that I think the car needs. I just got done finishing this uh, balance panel that covers the radiator. Yeah. I start putting all these kind of little details in there. Just subtle details that just kind of give the vehicle, you know, uh, attention to quality. So the more you look it over, more you'll the find more little you different find things stuff. in a stock Camaro. I mean, you start looking at like just the little bezel that fits around the shifter boot. Yeah. You look at the rear end, that has got the, the independent rear suspension, but it's got the custom machined uh, horseshoe, I call it. Then you see that the, the exhaust is all integrated into the body, yeah. plus that comes from another car that we built. That's not you stock? Know, the dash, oh, no. <laughs> the dash, all the dash pieces, all custom made by myself, I made the center console. Yeah. The seats came out of a Honda CRZ. Oh, yeah. Car. Well, hey. There you you know, they look better in this than in a Honda. Yeah, we have to recover them, of course. There's right. some god awful fabric when you buy them here. <laughs> and then, you know, once again, it's just all these little details that help make up the car. Yeah. It's just, you know, you have to go around and just film each one. It's, it's hard to describe it. It's fun to talk to people about it. Though. Well, so yeah. And it's a hell of a car. It looks like you guys did a really nice job. The thing is beautiful. A lot of custom touches, obviously. Good group uh, of guys around me. Yeah. Good group of guys. Yeah, a lot of help, I'm sure. A lot of help. Yeah, what did you make that out of? How hard is it to make something like that, that, that custom panel? This one? Just like making a surfboard. Yeah. It's all made of cardboard and tape and fiberglass right on top of it. Take it off, trim it, surface that sucker, lay some paint down. Oh, you make it sound very easy. You, you whip this out in no time at all, I guess. It's 80 hours, you're whipping it out. $100 <laughs> an hour, that's an $8,000 part right Holy there. Holy cow. <laughs> yes. Can I pay you in handshakes? Yes. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, go get some work. We have that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> and then I made these